Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. Tezos is on fire. It's up over 600% within the last year and people are very excited. They want to buy this cryptocurrency and they want to stake it. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the two biggest mistakes that people make when buying Tezos and when staking it. First, let's understand what does it mean to stake a cryptocurrency. So when you stake a cryptocurrency, you are holding it in a system or staking it within a project's blockchain. By doing so, this makes the system secure and this allows people on the network to mine and validate blocks. So proof of stake is different than what Bitcoin has. Bitcoin has something called proof of work. And to use proof of work to validate and mine blocks, you need expensive computer equipment and you also need electricity. So people in the blockchain and crypto space they found that maybe it wasn't so practical. Maybe down the line it won't work or, or it would become too expensive. So they developed the concept of proof of stake. So instead of using expensive computer hardware and expensive electricity, people take the cryptocurrency token that they own and they stake it or hold it in the system. Now this gives them now the power to, to vote in the system, to validate and mine blocks. This video is not about proof of stake versus proof of work, which one is better or whether proof of stake is safe or not. This is just talking about in this video the benefits that people using proof of stake can get and they can get, they can get staking rewards. So again, by staking or holding their cryptocurrency with on the system, it makes it more secure and it lets it run. And by doing so, they will receive a reward for their efforts. So where's the first place that people go to even really buy cryptocurrency? It's usually Coinbase and Coinbase has made it very easy also to buy Tezos and to also stake Tezos. If you go on their website, you see that you can earn staking rewards on Coinbase and the estimated reward per year is about 5%. And what's really cool about Coinbase is you can see on the video in front of me that the calculator you have it updates second by second, showing you your staking rewards as it's growing and growing. And you might be wondering, this is amazing. You can buy it on Coinbase, you can stake it, you'll get a reward. And now this is where we're going to get into the two mistakes that Tezos holders or people thinking about Tezos buying it are making. So the first mistake is the fees. Most people are starting out on exchanges such as Coinbase and they don't understand that the fees are extremely high. Coinbase now has these flat transaction fees. For example, it's 99 cents if you're buying under $10, $1.49 buying between $10 and $25, and then even if you're buying $50 to $200 worth of cryptocurrency, and in this case Tezos, you're paying a $2.99 fee. These fees are extremely high. So all across exchanges, people hear about a cryptocurrency and they want to buy, they want to get big gains. But what they don't realize is that all these fees add up. And even when the coin does well, even when it has crazy gains, that person is not up. They might just be breaking even. So lowering the cost is the first thing that anyone can do in cryptocurrency. And so simple, if you have a Coinbase account, which is usually the first account that people in cryptocurrency have, you can simply go to their brother or sister site, I don't know how you call it. It's called Coinbase Pro. And it's not hard to set up once you have a Coinbase account and you provided all your information, you can simply make a Coinbase Pro account. Now what's different about Coinbase Pro is their fee structure. Their fees are anywhere from 0.15 to 0.50%. And when I say 0.50, I mean less than one, not even 1%. So when you're on Coinbase, you're paying fees anywhere sometimes from, you know, it could be 10% to 30 to 40%, depending what you're buying or how much of it that you're buying. So just simply switching over to Coinbase Pro, which is easy to do, you can now buy cryptocurrency with a small fee. These, this is the difference over time of hundreds and thousands of dollars. And just like there's a Coinbase app for the phone, there's also a Coinbase Pro app for the phone. Now the second mistake that people are making when it comes to staking Tezos, so we just saw that the first one is they're just paying too high of a price to buy the cryptocurrency. Now the second part is how much they're actually paying to stake the cryptocurrency. So Coinbase stakes Tezos for you and you can earn a reward of 5% a year. 
But we just found out very recently that Coinbase is actually charging a 25% commission fee for Tezos staking. Now, if you're new into the crypto space, you might hear 25% and think, okay, that's not such a big deal. But anyone that is that is in the crypto space or anyone that's been investing for many years, they know that 25% of a commission or fee for anything is it's just excessively high. It doesn't make any sense. So that's the second mistake people are doing. They're going to places such as Coinbase because they make it so easy to use it and they're losing out, number one, on those expensive fees. And then second off, they're paying now this expensive fee for staking. Now, Coinbase Pro, I'm not exactly sure if you can stake Tezos on Coinbase Pro, but what a person can do, and it's very simple, is that a Coinbase and a Coinbase Pro account are linked together. So if a person purchases Tezos on Coinbase Pro, again, with a fee of maybe five cents or 10 cents, not you know a dollar, two dollars or three dollars, once they buy it, they can simply transfer it over from their Coinbase Pro wallet to their Coinbase wallet, and then they can start getting that fee. So there you fixed one mistake. You cut out the expensive fee to purchase it, but now you're gonna have that 25% fee when you're staking. So what's the best way you can do this? Well, the best way to lower the fees is by using an exchange that has very cheap fees, such as Coinbase Pro or maybe another exchange, and then instead of sending it to Coinbase, you can send it to another exchange. Now, I do want to let you know that this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you what you should do. I am just showing you the options you have and giving you my opinions. So if someone does buy Tezos for a very cheap fee and then they want to stake it for maybe no fee or even a cheaper fee than it is on Coinbase, there are many other options. There's actually so many options out there that I'm not going to be able to go over in this video, but what I am go going to go over are the easy options. So many people don't want to have to deal with the whole hassle of figuring out how and where what do you do when it comes to staking? So they just go to an exchange. So another exchange that also offers staking rewards for Tezos is Kraken. And if you notice, their yearly rewards are higher than Coinbase. Coinbase is at about 5% per year. Tezos is at 6% or more. And that's because they don't have the success of fee. You don't even have to use an exchange. You can also use, let's say, a Ledger Nano. If you have a hardware wallet, you can stake Tezos using your Ledger Nano. And if you're figuring out and you want to know how to do this, just go to the ledger.com website and look it up yourself. Again, in this space, when it comes to certain things, you shouldn't really watch a YouTube video or read some third party article. It's always best to go to the main source. So if you want to know about Kraken, you go to kraken.com. If you want to know about Ledger, you go to ledger.com. It's always better than going to a third party. Now, Binance. I'm sure, I guess it looks like they have zero fee. Their estimated annual reward is from six to 7%. And these small percentages, the difference between one and 2% over time, you know, over 10, 20, 30 years, it's thousands and thousands of dollars. It's hard to see it in the short term when we talk about 1% here and 1% there. But if you ever look into it, if you ever read up on it, the difference between one, two and 3% of fees over years, again, over 20, 30, and 40 years is a difference of thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So there you have it, the two biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to staking Tezos. And I could actually say this can also be applied to just buying and staking any other cryptocurrency that has proof of stake, is number one, paying too high of a fee. And as I showed you, there are many ways around this. And then number two, paying a high fee to stake that cryptocurrency. And again, I showed you in this video that you don't have to pay those high fees. Again, I am not myself invested in Tezos. The reason why I wanted to talk about this today is because of all the hype going on with Tezos and, and all the articles and videos and forums that I read, I started noticing this trend that people are really being taken advantage of and I don't want you to be the next one to be taken advantage of. I hope that you found value in today's video and if you like my content, I want you right now to go down below, show your love, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.